today we're making paper pulp paintings. Some assembly required. It's another Maker Crate day! So I have three Maker Crates right now that have been waiting for me to have time. But I decided to do the newest one because paper pulp painting seems fun. I have no idea if it will be fun. We'll find out. But let's see what we have inside the box. Ooh. Pretty. That's cool. We have a little instruction telling us stuff thing. Uh-huh. Yep. Gives us some ideas of what we can do. And it gives us a little QR code so we can find the instructions, which is lucky. We've got jars. Jars? Um, squeezy bottles? Squeezy bottles. Guess. Um, looks like paint, liquid, like. Oh no, it's matte medium. Oh, matte medium. Couldn't read any water. Are we using instead. matte medium for? I don't know. We'll find out. A paintbrush and like a smoother. Mm, scrapey smoothie scrapey, tool. Yeah. A rainbow. Or a smile. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, like a cookie cutter kind of a thing, I guess shaping. Yarn. Some... And um, whatever that is. Yeah, like some gluey dots and some string maybe? We have paper pulp sheets. Oh, this must be, these are all our different colors. Uh -huh. We've cool. got like dark blue, orange, yellow, pink, light blue, like tealish. Some very make or create colors. Here's our mess mat. Do we have two? Yeah. Are we feeling extra dirty this time? Maybe. There's um, like netting. Oh yeah, there. some like mesh. Screeny things. Cool. And a piece of foam. Oh yeah, like craft foam. Uh, we have a, whoa, Ooh. tube with paper on it. Maybe for the backing or something. Two little plastic sticks. I don't know what those are for. I don't know either. Wooden frame. Oh, it's like a mesh situation. Okay. I think this is probably, so I have made paper before, but not since maybe high school. So I think this maybe is where we squeeze the water out, or maybe this way. I don't know. There's a um, container. Oh, nice, a container. Great. So we won't get water everywhere, probably. Our water can ooze out that way. Sticks. Mm-hmm. Looking at the mm, instruction-y things, I believe that we hang it from wood. So maybe these are our like, little wood hanger. Yes. And um, couching sheets? Couching sheets. Not sure what this is, but they're nice and thick, so maybe you squish it between them and it makes it stiff. I don't know. We'll find out, or it's something else. So, our next step is to look at the instruction videos and see what the heck we're doing. And then maybe we can get started. Seems fun. I maybe forgot most of how we do it, but I think we can figure it out. So the first thing that we're going to do is to choose a couple pieces of paper and make a sample painting, uh -huh. like a like a test painting. So I wanted to show you what colors they did offer. It's sort of a light, wow, they all look the same. Like a super duper light blue, a very sagey light green. Kind of grayish. A very ultra light pink. A yellow, which is sort of yellow. Mustard yellow. <gasps> Um, a really dark blue and a sort of an orange. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... So we didn't really love this color, so um, we chose this one. And then this one to give it a little pop of color. Oh, pizzazz. So, okay. So what we're gonna do is put the background color in this big jar and the detail-y color, the orange, in this little jar. Mm -hmm. What we have to also do is try to remember what the ratios were. I don't know. I think that I remember. So the squeezy bottle has like a little nozzle and you can tick, tick, tick Instead of like using a spoon. Instead of using a spoon, which I forgot to get. I'll have to get that in a minute. So what we do is for the background, you use about a half a sheet. And for the details, we'll use a quarter of a sheet. Once you get your appropriate size of your pulp, just start ripping. And they encourage you to do this with your fingers rather than with scissors, because A, I think it will blend a little better, and B, it will sort of absorb into the water. We're making what they call a slurry, so kind of a, 
squishy paper situation. Like yeah, second. like that. So we have two little piles. What we will do is put our big pile in here. And our little pile in here. Indeed. And for our big pile, we will add about a cup of water. And for our little squeezy bottle, the quarter sheet, we will add three quarters of a cup of water. So the ratio is not the same for them. I don't know why exactly, but I do what I'm told. If you're doing this at home, you may have better jars. They tell you to shake this over the sink. And we're gonna shake it over a towel because it leaks mm -hmm. all over the place. So neat. So a little less than three quarters of a cup if you're using the maker crate system. It's so warm. <sighs> I use warm water. Yeah, they say we use warm water, probably it, it absorbs faster and it just makes it more squishy. And now we shake. Ta-da! Ta-da! Now I feel fairly certain that it doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as you got some paper smoothie going on in there, you're probably good. Okay, so now we're ready to actually start. Mm -hmm. So we have our messy mat down, which can be just a giant piece of paper if you're doing this at home. And, oh, I also, still leaking, that's cool, that's fine. Uh, I also found out that if you are not using the Maker Crate kit, and maybe your local craft store does not carry paper pulp, I feel like it, they might, um, Amazon also has it. So in case you're not going to stores, you can order online. All I saw was white. So you'd have to maybe add some watercolor or something like that. That's cool, I might, I might try that. Mm -hmm. It seems fun. So here we have our catch everything tray. And we put the little plastic blue things. This is what the plastic blue things are for. They hold up our little mesh screen guy. Mm -hmm. And we have the staples up. Staples are facing up, so the mesh screen is on the top. If you're making this for yourself, I will tell you it feels very much like sheer curtains. So our little rainbow cookie, cookie cutter. cutter thing, we can use that. I also found our tiny little circle cookie cutters. We're also gonna cut a little bit out of um, foam. Any beanie one? Okay, grand. And then you can cut out like a leaf. Pink. Okay, so that is what this foamy stuff is for. It's basically to make a mask to keep the slurry, <laughs> is funny, um, to keep the slurry stuff out of a particular area, you go around it and then you'll peel it off. At the very end. At the very end. At the very end. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it like that. This? I like it like that. Fantastic. So I think that what we should do is fill in these guys with your squishy squeezer. Mm -hmm. Should I do, I'll do the um, mouth. Do the, and then the, the mouth. Oops, sorry, I forgot it's not supposed to be. Okay, it's all water. Yes, a lot of water seems to come out first. Maybe give it like a Oh, there we go. We're gonna need to put more. While that is seeping through, maybe I'll just squeeze them into the, not eye. The circle. The circle. The um, circle is good. Yeah, the circle's good. So now we take our little sculpty tool while we're waiting for this situation to calm down. Keep squishing that. It's um, dripping when you do it. All right. I mean, I don't think we need to get all the water out. We're just sort of making sure that it fills the edges. It reminds me of when you were eating baby food and it was carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like baby food carrots. What happens if you poke on um, the water? Mm -hmm. You get wet? I'll see if it drips. No, 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 no with your finger. With the, oh, with the stick. This? Not too much. Oh, All it right. drips. It drips a lot. Oh, oh do, it does do if you that. do this? Yeah, do, do that. It doesn't look like it's doing anything, but it actually, when you look under, it's like dripping. Or maybe just meditate. We'll help it out a little bit by soaking up some water and squeezing it into our little cup. I'm just not patient. 
check for thin spots. Seems fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's time to do our background color. Mm -hmm. We've got a spoon. So, all right, poor spoon. Tilt it a little. There we go, that's better. And you just dump it. Dump it on. This may look like a mess, but they <laughs> It may look like a mess. But it will turn out better later. You start over there, and I'll try to mush this around a little. And maybe next time you put a little more paper in there. Okay. All right. So now we're making sort of a round piece of paper for our <laughs> first project. That's fine. We'll just try to squash it in a little bit. The next step is to try to peel out our little cookie cutters and the foam sheet. Oh! Yeah, all right. That's smush cool. that down a little, maybe with your smusher. It worked! Sort of round. Lovely. So now, this Let's seems peel. like a tricky part as we kind of try to peel the little foamy bit out. Mm -hmm. Oh! And maybe there's a space. There appears to be a space. Maybe with your little thing, scooch out a little. Ooh, yeah, I'll fix the space a little. Probably, you could skip the foam and just scrape out a space. But, you know, okay, we're gonna try it all. So, so far, we think that uh, the mix needs a little less water and a little more pulp. Yeah, that, that's what we've learned so far. All that's coming out is water. So it kind of just floods everywhere, especially the orange is very, like, heavily dyed. The water is very orange. So that's something to think about. So definitely the cookie cutter makes a more defined edge. And also you can, you know, end up with so much color transfer. But you know what? We're just gonna go with the color transfer for this one. Now we um, take a thin mesh, yeah. So first I'm gonna cover all these things so we don't knock them over and make a big mess. We already basically made a mess. We made a little mess, but we have not yet made a big mess. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we have these two bits of mesh. mesh. We just gently, I don't even think it has to be gently, stick them on top. Mm -hmm. Then we bring back our sponge. I'm gonna do it. So you press fairly firmly with your sponge or whatever until you notice that it's definitely wet. It's definitely wet. I know. Then you pick it up and you squeeze it out. You're supposed to do it until no water is in it. So yeah, this helps to dry it a little bit and also it helps to kind of squish everything out. Not much water is coming out, so that is probably a good sign. That's probably all. So I think you leave the mesh on and then we're gonna turn it out onto our couching paper. Is that even right? Yeah, couching paper, so, not couching word. paper. It looks like couching. Basically, it just seems like a really thick watercolor paper textured mm -hmm. cardstock sort of thing. So it's going to I'll absorb like, some of the extra water. I'll let you flip it. Okay. And then, and then you're supposed to rub it with your sponge until it starts to look like it's coming off. Until it starts to get kind of foggy, they said. Which means that it's coming off the oh, mesh. Oh, it fine. totally is. Excellent. Now just lift it off and... Perfect! It's a circle piece of paper! Next, and really last, um, for this step, we put our couching paper on the top, give it a good squish, let it dry. Mm -hmm. We'll think a little bit about what we would like to do for our real projects, yeah. and then we'll come back later and get them started. We'll let this dry a little bit for now. Hello. So it's been a little while since we did the first part of this video. Um, our paper's dry. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> so we're going to take some inspiration from our cover photo here and make kind of a mountainy landscape Thingy. situation. Yeah. Um, we may not remember entirely 100% what we learned in the videos. We are going to try to make our slurry. Do they call it slurry? Yeah. Did I just make that up? 
<laughs> no. Uh, a little bit less watery because it yeah. sort of was just all wet and we had to sort of yeah. like scoop around to try to find the paper, mm -hmm. which was annoying. Yeah. So we're going to try it a different way. Maybe we'll make it full size. Yep. We're going to make it full size. It might look like this. It might look uh, not at all like this, but we're going to do it on time lapse and it's going to be great. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's freezing cold down here mm -hmm. <laughs> in case you're wondering why I'm... <sighs> Okay, let's go. Yay! We found it! This took a while. <laughs> yeah, especially ripping the pink. Yes. So ripping the colors is fun for about a minute, and then it is not. So if this is something that you enjoy and you want to do it a whole bunch, maybe a dedicated blender just for paper. Blender? Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> Done. <laughs> right? You just pour a little bit of the water inside to blend it in. Yeah, instead exactly. Instead of shake it. Yeah, you do all, all the blending instead of shaking it, because these are not watertight, as it turns out. Now we're going to put the little mesh thing on top, squishy, squishy, squish, and then try to dry it out. Yeah. Okay, so we squished it a little bit. Um, but our paper is now blue and kind of wet. So we thought, let's flip it onto this paper and then we can leave it to dry. So here's what it looks like. Ooh. That's upside down. Yep. Here's what it looks like. Pretty. Kind of like this page. <laughs> yeah, let's hang that up instead. <laughs> we might. Yeah, so definitely some of the papers, like the color came out of them a lot more. Like the blue. And the orange. And the orange. And the yellow kind of, actually. Yeah, a little, yeah. Judging from what those papers look like now. So, uh, we'll see how much they squish together while they dry, or if they stay kind of defined. It's a mystery. We'll let it dry here, and we'll check on it tomorrow. Ta-da! So first thing this morning, it wasn't 100% dry. I went over it for a little while with the iron and it actually worked pretty well. And it seems maybe not flat, but kind of flat. I believe this was the side that we wanted to have up, but I'm not sure that I don't like this side better. I like the lines a little better. We are going to frame this guy Poor Lily is in school, so she doesn't have to do the framing part. She can just see the big reveal. So I have the paper backing thing, two sheets, only gonna need one. I have ugh, the magnetic wooden frame, glue docs. I will not tell you how long I looked for these because I didn't realize they were right on the other side of the cord. It was a long time. And some scissors. So I will just quickly put this together and then we'll see how the whole thing looks first you stick your glue dots to the opposite side of your paper and then peel the teeny tiny little backing off set up your paper where you want it on on the big sheet and press it down then you just snip your cord in half thread it through the little holes tie a double knot and then it goes right up at the top of your big paper and it just sticks together with magnets. It's awesome. Welcome. <laughs> I mounted it. You ready to see? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ta -da! Ooh. Our masterpiece. I match. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> I thought this side looked a lot better than the other side, so I flipped it. The other side was really lumpy. Yeah, that makes sense, because the other side was like... 
Yeah, but it's cool. I had to glue it right here a little because they didn't attach, but everything else attached. Oh, that's good. So we do know that if you put one of the yellowy orange colors next to a blue, it sucks it right in and it makes it not super pretty. I don't know how you would avoid that because yeah. we really tried, <laughs> but it just gooped everywhere. Maybe the key is to not mind at all. Yeah, yeah. or to put those colors on first. Maybe, yeah, maybe you put these colors and then you kind of build it on both sides. We just sort of started at the bottom and went to the top because it seemed like a way to do it. So there are probably other things that we could learn if we kept on doing this, but I think that it was fun. Yeah. So would you say that this was enjoyable? Mm -hmm, it was really fun. Yeah, and kind of successful. And yeah. look, it hangs. Cool. <laughs> All right, so we'll go find a place for this and we'll take some photographs and we'll probably put them right here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. We enjoyed making it over a very long period of time. So if you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of video, there's a whole playlist of Make or Create videos and you can subscribe right underneath the video here and click the all notification bell so you don't miss anything because we do have two more crates lined up. <laughs> they won't be next week, but they're, they're coming. They're coming along. Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> When we get to it, school, you know, this takes so much time. Yeah, like maker crates are longer. Maker crates are longer. <laughs> <laughs> maker crates do take kind of a long time, but that's cool because they keep you busy for a while. New videos come out on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So stay tuned. And until the next video, we will be here thinking of super fun things for us to all do. So be awesome. And we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.